Hello, I just got through shooting my Uberti Winchester replica of the 4440 carbine using clean shot powder. This is very old powder. I don't think they make it anymore. I've had this can for about 16 years. I loaded, it's a black powder substitute. I loaded about 25 grains more or less in 4440 shells, Remington's. Uh, the, with a 200 grain hard cast hunter supply bullet compressing the powder down went out and fired it and it averaged about 1230 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel and I just broke down the side plate for the first time and I'm amazed on just how clean this gun is that that's this, this is some pretty dirty powder I'm shooting if I shoot it in anything else like for example this Pieta 1851 Navy it's so dirty, it's unbelievable. It's, it, it's a chore to clean it up and you want to clean it up right away because that stuff is corrosive and it will cause rust and all of the kinds of problems if you don't get to it pretty quick. So anyway, with that in mind, I thought, well, let me just break this down and clean it. And the minute I got in here, I was amazed on just how clean this is. I mean, there's almost no powder at all, no residue, nothing in the uh, on the rod or in the action, in the chamber, it's, it's uh, very clean. That's pretty impressive. And just, now that I've gotten this broken down, this I'm, I'm very impressed with this weapon. It's uh, exceeded all my expectations. It's been a great birthday present, and I'm appreciative to my wife and my father for buying it for me. But look at the action, check it out. Toggle link action. Very simple, very fundamental. Uh, compared to the more modern lever actions, such as the 92 or the 94. I say modern. I mean, those, those are about made in 1892, 1894. But this is, the, this is 1873 action. This is old school. And I'm just breaking this down for the first time. And I thought this would be pretty impressive. Uh, other powders that I've shot in this gun uh, using these same cases are 8 grains of Unique. And they averaged about see about 1080 80 feet per second more or less uh, these actually came I think reloaded by a small company in Houston using Remington brass they averaged about 1100 feet per second uh, and that's that's all the ammunition I've ever fired on it other than reloading my own which I find saves a lot of money but that's another discussion for another time but this this uh, carbine is just impressive I just really enjoy this gun and it's a great outdoor weapon, great gun for carrying in the woods or just having some fun with. It's not, it's, it's not a 30 alt 6 It's not going to knock your shoulder off. And it's something my wife actually enjoys shooting. It's very simple, very fundamental. Oops. Well, like I said, this is the first time I broke this down. The link just fell on the floor, but it comes off and on pretty easily. But anyway, my wife really enjoys this gun. It's uh, very simple to operate. And as I was going to show you before that fell out, the loading gate's right here. You just feed the cartridges in, cock the lever, um, and go to work. It's very simple, very fundamental. Uh, the average anybody could figure it out uh, with you know, proper shooting standards and teaching, of course. But uh, this has just been a very impressive gun, very impressive. It'll cover for the port so dirt doesn't get in there. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. I appreciate you watching.